to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day is considered to him like a thousand years of our time. How many years? One thousand. وَإِنَّ يَوْمًا عِنْدَ رَبِّكَ كَأَلْفِ سَنَةٍ مِمَّا تَعُدُّونَ One day to Allah, He considers it equivalent to a thousand years of what we count. So the last day of this world began a thousand years ago. One thousand years ago is the last day of this world. Whatever happens in that time to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like one day. You and I live how much, how long, 50, 60, 70 years, 100 years. It's only a drop in the ocean compared to a thousand years. Yet we are part of that just one day. And there is another day, the day of judgment. That day is not 1,000 years or 2,000 or 10,000. It is 50,000 years. Allah says in the Quran, في يوم كان مقداره خمسين ألف سنة. On a day, the day of judgment, which is estimated to be equivalent to fifty thousand years of what we count. Just a drop in the ocean, the last one thousand years we are, and then standing on a day which is as long as fifty thousand years. A man said, "Ya Rasul Allah, oh, إنه لزمن طويل." That expression that we make. Gosh, it's a long time, 50,000 years, Ya Rasulullah. The Prophet ﷺ smiled and said, Wallahi, for a mu'min on that day who's destined to enter Jannah, it'll be for them as long as two rak'ahs they prayed in this life. It'll seem like that. And then the people who have less deeds than them, it'll seem a little bit longer. For others who have even less deeds than them, it'll seem a bit longer. Until the worst of people on that day, they will stand for 50,000 years. So 50,000 years will not be for everybody like that. However, Allah called it a day. The sun will be there, there'll be no night. There'll be no sleep. There'll be no rest. All of our journey, from the beginning of the world till the end is in preparation for that day. A man came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asked him a question. Mata sa'ah ya Rasulullah? When will the last hour be, O Messenger of Allah? He is asking about when the last day of this world will be. The poor man thinks that he's going to live until the last hour of this world. He wants to prepare for it. 1,400 years ago, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded to him with an amazing wise word. A question to his question. What have you prepared for it? That's the question you should be asking. Don't ask when is the world going to end? Allah knows when it will end. Not even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam knows. In fact, it's irrelevant for us to know when it will end. By the time it ends, you will, Allah, you will be nothing mentioned. What have you prepared for it? Taib, this man is not going to live until the end of time. How can he prepare for it? So what does Rasulullah mean therefore? In other words, he is asking him, what have you prepared for your death? For your death. Now that is something that we should be thinking about. 